would you believe it, Dunkin' Donuts. In case you were wondering, yes, got a Boston cream donut and nice coffee. Good morning, YouTube. Here we are, Scranton, Pennsylvania. I know uh, Dumpster Marcus, a recent subscriber, or actually a long-time subscriber, has been trying to uh, hang out with me. Uh, it, it's been a, a long journey. It's kind of spontaneous of a trip. I definitely will hang out with you eventually, Dumpster Marcus. Um, he's another scrapper on the YouTube community, and he lives in this area. So that will be for a future video. I'm sure we can link up and do something for that. But uh, today is a thrift store vlog. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it. I'll try to move a little bit slower for this vlog. I know recently I've been doing a lot of uh, videos that have been very quick, fast-paced, and it's kind of hard to see everything that I'm, I'm looking at. So in that regards, I'll try to move a little bit slower and try to show you more of a diverse uh, array of items here. So enjoy the vlog. All right, you so a lot of people ask me, what do I stay away from? I stay away from a lot of uh, college alumni shirt. And the reason why is a lot of people, they find these shirts or, you know, they graduate college and they don't want to wear an alumni shirt. They want to wear, you know, an East Stroudsburg University shirt or something of that nature. They don't like wearing the alumni stuff. I don't know why. Um, but my preference as well is I'd rather wear a college sweatshirt or a college t-shirt of my school. I don't want to wear it with alumni. I just want to, you know, feel like I'm part of college. Feel like I'm a part of college, and you know. So if you, if you are finding shirts, try to stay away from the alumni stuff, unless it's like something like Harvard or Yale, um, because that stuff generally usually sells. So this is what I picked up so far. Got about four sweatshirts, vintage USC. Everything's about. So green tag today is not on sale, but uh, you know, I'm paying up today. So here we are at another thrift store. So here's a sleeveless. This is, a lot of people ask me, how do I know something's vintage? The biggest thing is definitely the tag. So this is made in USA. Nike doesn't make any more made in USA shirts. Three bucks, but it's a sleeveless. not the season for a sleeveless so that regards not picking that up I don't do well with uh, shorts or sleeveless shirts anyway but uh, this store is a little pricey $4.99 $3.99 99 here's the artwork for the people who might be interested in artwork I generally try to look for any paintings prints are meh but Paintings are nice, frames are nice, then they're they're worth a little bit more. This is not a bad piece, but I'm going to grab this because this is a set, and it's hard to come across sets. It is Pyrex, but it's a newer one. This is a nice bowl. I think it's new, though. It's not old. store not picking up much but it's been a decent day overall I know when you go to a bunch of stores you do pick up a bunch of stuff so I've accumulated a lot see if we can pick up maybe one or two more items this is a college sweatshirt Mary Wood it's kind of local but it's not that great of a design there's nothing to it so usually I pass on those I know a lot of people comment saying how do you know what to pass on what to, you know something that like 
it needs to be it needs to have some style to it so or it has to be a team that's doing very well or something that's very well known so that's why I usually pass up on So light, probably missing all the pieces. That's where I found that Lego set. If you guys remember from that video, I'm not seeing much here. Oh, it's all painted. Huh. I don't know what all this is about. So for the recap for today, here we are. Picked up a bunch of clothes, some bowls, like usual. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. Let's go quickly through it. I'm a full-time reseller that sells clothes mainly, so if you're ever curious about why, I have so many t-shirts and sweatshirts I pick up. This is why. Uh, I'll start off quickly. Duke basketball, Yankees t-shirt. This one I actually paid up for. It's a vintage 1999 or 1990 uh, New York Giants sweatshirt. Now the Giants have been doing very poorly this year very poorly but they're just such a great franchise that it still sells um, I did pay up paid six bucks a lot of people always ask me how do I know it's old I always look at the tag made in USA and some of these older sweatshirts actually say when they were made so for that regards those are some telltale signs raglan is also a telltale sign not saying that all vintage sweatshirts are raglan but you know you start putting a bunch of pieces together cracked uh, cracked logos and eventually adds up to you know what a vintage sweatshirt should look like and what a vintage sweatshirt is so it takes time Mon Moth this is an old New York Yankees t-shirt Paul O'Neill Columbia Spiders Richmond thought this was nice Rucker Park Harlem New York City this is a famous basketball court outdoor basketball court so I, I figured might as well pick it up. Somebody probably would like that. Vintage Dallas Cowboys sweatshirt. This is a, what they call a spirit jersey. It was very, very hot about, I'd say, five to six years ago in college. These things new were like crazy price, like 40 50 60 bucks. This was only $3. I know. I don't know if they're still popular in college, but when I was in college, everyone had one. If you're in a sorority, you had one of these. And Notre Dame sweatshirt, Vintage USC. Penn State, which is one college that I usually pass on, and that's because it's just so prevalent around here. I can find it in every store, but this year I've sold probably 80 to 90% of my Penn State stuff. Makes me kind of regret not picking up everything else because, you know, I've come across so many, and I just had to pass it up because I only usually sell about 30 to 40%. It's a big-name university, and it's tough to sell them because there's so many clothes out there. So in that regards, everything's been blowing off the shelf in terms of Penn State this year, so I'm trying to pick them back up, I'm trying to catch up here. University of Toledo, first Toledo sweatshirt. I think this is Spain, Spain jersey, no one on the back. Bethlehem Steel, Thor, Temple University, in our school I've sold a lot of Ohio State, University of Virginia, UCLA, and a Yingling t-shirt. For the brick rack stuff, I picked up this Pyrex set, that's three bucks. It's a nice design. It's a newer one, but uh, it was the full set. You know, it was complete. The gravy bowl, I guess it would be called, and a plate, a gravy plate. So, nice little pickup. 
picked up this. It's a Roseville. It was only a dollar. Roseville bowl. Back in the day, these used to bring great money. I'd say 10 years ago, maybe, 10, 20 years ago. I don't know about Roseville 20 years ago, but it does have a crack. I know people at the flea market are going to say, well, it's cracked. Well, it's cracked. Even if I'm trying to sell for three bucks, they're still going to say it's cracked. Uh, but you got to price it accordingly. And then let them, you know, they in the flaw and then you lower your price. That's one thing I've learned from selling at the flea market. Don't price it because it has a cracked, you know, at three bucks. Price it at five or ten and then let them say, hey, it's cracked. Uh, because otherwise they're still going to beat you up regardless. Here's another one of these turquoise bowls. I found this one. It was two bucks. I guess this is the UFO Pyrex. I found two of these at a auction recently. I don't remember if that was the vlog that I did for my P.O. box or what, but there was two of those in that box. It was at the beginning of the vlog, so it's weird. You come across these and then you find them everywhere. This one's a Federal Cup. It's kind of like an iridescent. It's a vintage. I don't know how well you can see like the rainbow color on it, but it's very cool. One's really not worth much, but nice collector's piece. And another Federal Cup vintage. It's not all beat up and it's nice, so do not put this stuff in the dishwasher because this blue stuff's going to come off and you're going to ruin the, the coloring. Just a heads up. That goes with Pyrex as well. Don't put that stuff in the dishwasher. A lot of people don't know that, but if you didn't know that, now you do. So some of this stuff goes on eBay. Some of this stuff goes on Etsy. Some I keep, some I give away. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.